Professor, there, ha- there, there was a post on LinkedIn few months back, which went viral. It says 200K US dollars for quant analyst. And it went viral. Everyone started looking at quant finance. What is this? What, what is this role about? What is this industry about? What, what is a reality, Professor? I will say, and I tell it to all my students, you need to go for six figure. Right? You need to at least 100,000. Yes. I mean, everyone gets most six, except maybe one, but that's because, and that's is something, um, unfortunately, uh, because sometimes you're an international student and you don't network as heavily as you want, and then time is running short, and they make you an offer, you know, like 90,000, 95,000, uh, you don't have time, you say yes, right? But technically, you need 100. Now, can you get 200? I have seen that, but it's really with experience, meaning that you have your work in the field, you stop, then you come back, and then you get the job. But but I will tell you, the closer that you get to 200, it's not, I mean, it has, it has happened, right? But you have to be, when I say good, you not only have to know what you're talking about, but you have to be able to sell it and you have to have the right opportunity. I mean, I know you see, two, oh, let me apply to MFE program and I'm going to get 200. No. And I think Dimitri said the same thing. And I agree with him that, I don't know, show me these people, show me the money, show me, show me the contracts that these people actually made as a quant, right? I think a hundred is a definite. In fact, I, I ask my students, do not take any job unless you're being offered six-figure salary. No, I'm not saying the same thing for 200. I say 100 and then, you know, sometimes some of them get equity and things like that. But yeah, six-figure is, a, yes, you should at least get that.